Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Tuesday, September the 15th. It's the 16th week after Pentecost and week 4 in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 68, verse 28 to 35, and 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20 to 31. And please join me in singing the third verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Movies. Now come and worship and bow down and kneel before our Maker. For your our God and we your flock, the people of your pasture. Our help is in the name of God Most High the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own faults in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, show forth your might, O God. Strengthen that which you have wrought for us. Alleluia. Psalm 68, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, show forth your might, O God. Strengthen that which you have wrought for us. Because of your temple at Jerusalem, nations shall bring you gifts. Rebuke the company of warriors and the multitude of bulls with the calves of the people until everyone submits to you with pieces of silver. Scatter them that delight in war. Tribute shall come from Egypt and Ethiopia shall stretch out her hands to you. Sing to God, you nations of the earth. Sing praises to the Most High to God that rides upon the ancient heavens, to God who speaks with a mighty voice. Acknowledge the power of God. God's glory is over Israel. God's strength is in the clouds. You are to be feared in your holy places. O God of Israel, you give strength and power to your people. Blessed be God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, show forth your might, O God. Strengthen that which you have wrought for us. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 1, beginning at verse 20. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God the world did not know God through wisdom, God decided through the foolishness of our proclamation to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks desire wisdom, but we proclaim Christ crucified a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are the called, both Jew and Greek, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. Consider your own call, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth, but God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. 
God chose what is low and despised in the world, things that are not that are not to reduce to nothing things that are, so that no one might boast in the presence of God. He is the source of your life in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, in order that as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We praise you, O Most High, for your majesty and splendor. You are a God who saves your people, and we rejoice before you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.